Charlotte Danielson's teaching framework, looking at real classrooms. This innovative program was produced to give teachers and administrators the opportunity to see what the components of the Danielson framework look like in action in real classrooms. The program includes over 100 real classroom examples, all with Charlotte Danielson's insightful commentary. Charlotte will discuss which components of the framework are observed in each video clip, along with general commentary on the teacher's effectiveness. At the end of this lesson, the teacher reviews the terms predator and prey, a good illustration of component 3A about communicating with students, but she also brings closure to the lesson and reviews with the students the meanings of those words and the, and the way they think of them and how they apply them in their lives. Okay, do you remember all those different animals? What Wait, word we say. call that? If this is the predator, all the different animals are called their prey. 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 Good. That's a new word. That's a new word. Predator and prey. Irene, what did you learn? Um, that they um, eat with their teeth. That a snake uses its teeth to do the catching part. Okay. Boys and girls, we're going to put our hands down. We are done with our story, The Predator, for today. And I will leave this book out so that you can enjoy it during your reading time. Okay. This clip is a high school English class in which the students are being asked to read a text closely. What about when he kills his wife? Oh, we have to do that part too. Well, don't you think that kind of feeds into his character as a whole? Yeah. Because what's driving him? Mm -hmm. And the fact that he takes the money that Morel left for um, Dante's father. So. So how, did, how, would, how would he justify himself? Like, how do you think he would justify himself like when Abby Busoni comes to see him? I mean, we see that speech, but what do you think is going on in his head? The teacher's interaction with a small group of students in this clip illustrates component 3C, engaging students in learning, particularly the element about activities and assignments. Because in her conversation with them, she asks them to consider a character and a character's motives from that character's point of view, and to justify their position based on the text. You have to, it's, not, it's not like this. I mean, it's going to take a little time. But think about it. The next morning he wakes up, and he finds out what's happened to Dante's. But he was there, and he didn't do anything. So how can he justify himself? And then when he murders his wife, how is that OK? She shouldn't have done like, She shouldn't have done it. And then he would have been So it's OK for him to kill her for it? See, you got to dig around. What's, what's going to make him defend himself? What can he say? She caused him to go crazy. Okay. So run with that. She caused him to become greedy with money. Okay. To become so obsessed. Okay. So run so with that. And so now take that idea and go into your, your propaganda devices and see, okay, how can we create this defense for Cutter Roots, for what he's done? How would he defend himself if somebody said that? Not necessarily in a court of law, but just his general reputation. Okay? Okay. Okay. This is a powerful activity. The students have considerable choice in it, and yet the teacher is clearly insisting that they respect the principles of argumentation and evidence in making their case. While other online programs may offer video of Danielson seminars, and some may even have a few classroom clips. No other program offers you the powerful combination of Charlotte Danielson using her many years of experience to critique over 100 real classroom vignettes. This program includes over six hours of video and is an invaluable resource for any school that has adopted the Danielson framework or has used the Danielson framework to create their own teacher evaluation model.